we watch a lot of Tarantino. We watch a lot of Spielberg. So what happens is that people try to copy or Aaron Sorkin, like as a writer. What was your strategy for becoming a director? Was it just an idea in your head or you had a very specific plan as you did when you said, I want to dance with Michael Jackson? Yeah, I, um, <laughs> I learned this actually from the corporate world. Um, creating smart goals. Have you heard that, that term before, smart? No, I like it. Specific, measurable, actionable, realistic, and time bound. Okay. So basically what that means is that you, know, you have this really big goal at the end of the, of the rainbow. But in order to get there, you need small little goals to get there. And so for me, what that looked like is, okay, I need, if I want to be a director, I need to learn how to direct. But nobody's going to hire you fresh out of college as a director. So it's probably good if I learn how to write. So let me learn how to write. And then from the writing, I'll use my writing skills to direct what I wrote. Now, I need something that's going to be a really good calling card, something that... Uh, I need a short film that nobody else could be able to, you know, would, would be able to make other than me. Oh, I'm a, chore, a, a choreographer. So why don't I make something that actually is kind of like Hamilton, but, you know, I'm doing it, you know, in this college campus here. So if they had access to red cameras, um, the really cool thing about the group that was, I was uh, in class with, there's about 50 of us. And the way they would work is the teacher, great teacher, amazing guy. Um, Charlie, Charlie, uh, Charles Myers, Charlie Myers. Um, he now teaches at uh, Chapman, but uh, at the time at Saddleback. So the way it works is, anybody that wants to direct something, you go to the front of the class and you pitch your idea, and then the people will vote with their feet. If you can crew up based upon your idea, then you can get your your project made. So I went up there and explained what I want to do, and initially it was nothing about uh, the musical. It was some other you know, thing that it wasn't me. And so my teacher was like, hey, you spent all this time choreographing. Why don't you do something that actually showcases your skills? And I'm like, you know what, you're right. So then on the spot, I made up an idea for this short film. And everyone in the class was like, I want in on that. I had no idea how I was going to make it, but I went ahead and pitched it. And it's kind of ambitious. I mean, it takes, it's a musical, it's a 14 minute musical, um, takes place over three different time periods, the end of slavery, the end of segregation of the 1960s, and when Obama gets elected. And so we literally, we go through three different time periods and it, it's gonna highlight this man named Isaac who's looking for work in America. And it shows how America changes over time, but the issues that he was dealing with as a slave and as a man of the 1960s and in the 1980s, I'm sorry, and when Obama gets elected, he was still dealing with. And we had three songs, original music, we had choreography, and that was crazy, but we did it. And so the plan was to be a director, and I got a chance to direct my short film because I took those small steps by learning how to write, learning how to direct, learning grips, learning how to edit movies. Um, so I learned all this while I was in school, and that helped me to get to that point of making the short film. Now, for anybody that's out there that is looking to get representation as a director, your short film is your business card. So you want to make it as distinctive, as distinctive and as unique as you can. Put yourself into it, because nobody else can make the movie that I wrote. Because you have to have that background in order to do what I just did. And so as a result of that, that's what got me my managers. And then that's what got me my agent. And that's what got me the job, you know, to, to write the Christmas movie. So I would say if anybody is looking to, to you know, get representation, yeah, write something that is, that is um, close to you, intimate to you, that only you could write. Uh, telling it from a story, from only a place that you could write from. And that's what will help to make you different than any other director out there. And that's why people will actually gravitate towards you. And what was the name of the short film? Reparations. Okay, and you made that at Saddleback. Yeah. Community College. Yeah. Wow. I, and and if if anybody will have a link below this, but I mean, you also have a beautiful use of like color in all of your projects. I noticed yeah. Yeah. you do have an interesting like palette that you work with. Thank you. And when people saw that, what did they tell you? Did they tell you keep going? You should submit this. You should use this as your business card. Yeah. So when I made it. 
I you know, put into film festivals. It did very well. And then shortly after that I, is when I got my manager. Uh, my manager is after that. Um, so we kinda, it kind of just snowballed from one thing to the next. So. You said managers? Yes, did you have I, more I said than managers um, because they are a team. They work together. So you get one, you get the other. They both own the company. They work together and everything. It's kind of a nice situation because it's a black woman and a Caucasian male. So it's great because I get two different perspectives because they have two different backgrounds from two different unique places. And so when I write my projects, a lot of my projects actually have female leads. I don't know why that is, just the way it is. Um, it could be part of it could be business wise. I mean, that's what a lot of people are looking for these days. So it's nice to get notes from her because she's coming at it from that point of view and then he's coming at it from a different point of view. And so it's, when I get my notes, I'm getting this full, well-rounded, like almost four quadrant kind of thing in, regard, in regards to you know, what is gonna work, what's, how the scene is gonna work or what's going to sell. So I like that I have two managers. I just, you know, the company I'm, I'm with, they just happen to have two managers. So I was lucky enough to have them. Very cool. It's like having two twin sisters. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Very good point. What stops most people from finding an agent or manager? What stops most people from, from uh, finding an agent or a manager? I think the biggest thing, well, I guess it just depends on what we're talking about here. We're talking about a writer or we're talking about a director. I can give you definitely from the director's point of view, um, it's hard because, because I do both. Like to me, it's not like I, I, I got one as a writer or one as a director. I'm, I'm like, because I'm a package deal, I got them both. But you know, the thing is, going back to the idea of having a piece of work, whether it's writing or directing, that is unique to you. That's what it is. It's like because of the fact that we, we watch a lot of Tarantino, we watch a lot of Spielberg. So what happens is that people try to copy, or Aaron Sorkin, like as a writer, <clears throat> we try to copy that person's work. And so when we give these samples of our work, it's not original. It feels like a knockoff of these other people. So what's, what, what a lot of managers are looking for, they're looking for people that have unique voices. It's Hollywood, everything is packaged. So, a great, a, a, here, so here's my example. When they send my short film, now that I have a reel, they send my, 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 um, my reel of my work uh, of all the different TV shows and movies, there's a story behind who Courtney is. And your managers, your agents, are gonna to want to have something that's able to tell the story. So in my story, you know, I'm this kid from Compton, I choreographed from Michael Jackson, you know, I have a dance background, uh, you know, musicals, I mean, he, I'm a writer director, like, that's a nice story that you can sell to networks, and networks want stories. Your manager is the same way. They need to find a way to make you feel different than the, all these other people that are out there. There's so many writers, there's so many directors out there. So what, what's keeping a lot of people from getting a manager or an agent is the fact that, that they haven't figured out what their story is and, and the project that they're writing or the project that they've directed as a short film is not different enough to separate from other people that are doing something similar. Some, if, if they were to write something that's specific to them, you know, that will be a huge help because now I can, I can sell that story. You know, he or she came from, you know, Mexico. He or she, you know, came from a strong Catholic background or whatever, whatever the situation is in, in their own personal experience, that's what's gonna make you easier to sell to a manager. Sure. Do you think a lot of people start looking for an agent or manager and they don't have a lot of life experience? And maybe that, I, I mean, maybe that doesn't factor. I don't know. Yeah. I think, I think some people who are looking for managers or agents don't have life experiences. Um, and, you know, that means you need to go out and experience life. But even that being the case, like if you're 19, 18, you don't have a lot of life experience, but you have a family. You have you have a legacy within your family that you can that you can kind of draw from. Every single one of us have something really unique and different about our families and, and, and the way we grew up that we can draw from. And sometimes you kind of just have to put a light on that. And folks don't know how to do that. They know how to write. They know a structure of a script, but they don't know how to tell their own story. And that's the issue. 
Until you're able to do that, you're not different than any of these other writers. And if that be the case, then there's no way that they're going to be able to market you and make money off of you as a writer without something that's special and unique about yourself. Did you realize that about yourself at an early age, that there was something unique, or did it take time? Yeah, I never even thought about me being unique or different. I, I, I didn't think about that at all. And I, the only time I started thinking about that was when I started writing and directing. Because I was saying to myself, why would a person hire a 40-year-old writer? a 40 year old director. What is different about me? What do I offer that a lot of other people don't have? And that's another reason why I wanted to learn how to write was because as I mentioned, there are some really amazing directors who are former choreographers. So, you know, whether it's um, uh, the, the people that I mentioned before, the one thing that they can do that I can do is they can't write. And I knew I needed to have something different. Like, why would you hire me over Kenny Ortega. Kenny Ortega has a lot. You know, he did high, high School Musical. Like, he's huge. So what, what, does, what, what do I have that Kenny doesn't have? Oh, I can write. And I can direct. So again, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find, again, that probably is the competitiveness in me, trying to find a way to separate myself from these other gentlemen who I look up to, who I love their work. But it's like, no, I, I can do something that they can't do. So when you hire me, you're getting this package deal. Plus, I can choreograph. Plus, I've choreographed for the biggest people in the world. So, um, yeah, I needed something that, you know, with my own story, my own spin. Right. You think, too, I mean, not to get too personal, forgive me, but you were a young father. Mm -hmm. And the pressures that put on you. Yeah. And to balance all of this. I, I'm not a parent, so I don't know what that's like. But mm -hmm. I would imagine that's really tough. So yeah. you're doing all of this and you're a parent. Yeah, I, uh, that's a very good point. The fact that I was married at a young age. The fact that I was a young father, you know, and I needed to do what I needed to do to take care of my family in a legal way. Um, that definitely gave me some life experience that I could draw from. So even if I was, and it, here's the thing though, it's like even at the age of 20, I was still dancing. I wasn't even thinking about writing or directing. But let's say I had, I had that, 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 um, that goal. Like, man, it would have been amazing to be able to write back then because I was coming from a different point of view. You're right. The idea of living life for the good and for the bad, the wins and the losses, all of that is nice, rich information that you can use and you can put into your, your scripts with characters that have lived life. That's one thing that's it's tough. When you're 18, 19, 20 years old, you haven't lived life, so the characters that you write, I mean, it was very common, and it's, it's still common today, when, when, when uh, people that around that age write uh, a movie, a short film, a lot of the movies and short films, if you're 18, 19 years of age, is about people that are smoking weed and are high. Because that's, that, that's the reality, that's their life. But it's like, okay, we've seen that before. Like, there's, what's special about that? Nothing. And that's, why, and that's why you have to, like, if you are that young and you're writing and directing, look at, Look at life through other lenses. You know, look at your family. Look at your, think about your uncle or your auntie, what they've gone through, and you can pull from that. Even if you haven't experienced it yourself, um, there's people that you can talk to and draw experiences from. And I think even within your own family that that's possible, even if you don't have a lot of life experiences yourself. But yeah, the fact that I was a young kid and had a family, that helped me a, a big time regarding life experiences.